What can you make your own fuel for? If you do it yourself, and you do it like I did, where you got you know, waste materials, because remember I showed you that the big price in making corn alcohol was the corn. But I used to use things like, well, my favorite was old donuts, because cops can only eat so many, you know? <laughs> and then they go to waste. And so one pickup truck full of donuts would make me 100 gallons of alcohol. You know, and uh, what was nice about that you is- You got them from police stations? <laughs> no, no. They tend to get eaten there, but you know, the donut shops, once they're a day old, they throw them out. So I would have leave drums at donut shops and once a week pick them up. And um, what was fun about that is we'd go to cook, cook the stuff, add enzymes to break it down in sugar. By the way, each donut has 10 teaspoons of added sugar. And of course, it's all white flour, so that all turns into sugar. But what else is in donuts? Fat. Fat. So when we go to cook the donuts up and break them down into sugar to ferment them in alcohol, we'd skim off the fat, which was like this deep on the top of the tank. You could make biodiesel with it, but what we did is we used it to fire the still. So we had no energy costs. We used the, we used the fat to be the energy cost to run the still. That was a lot of fun. But all kinds of things can be used to, um, to make alcohol as waste products as well. So when you're using a waste product, you can make alcohol for about 20 to 30 cents a gallon. And three or four cents of that is enzymes, a couple cents is energy, five or six cents is amortization of your, your still, you know, and it's really cheap. Um, on the commercial scale, huge plants, very expensive, et cetera, using corn, they're making it for 90 cents a gallon wholesale, selling it for that wholesale. So um, they sell it for between 90 and 10. Now, when we first started this movement back in the 80s, it cost them $2.50 to make the alcohol. Because of the subsidies and the effort put into it, they've reduced that cost down below a dollar. And the price of corn has pretty much stayed the same over that whole time. Um, sugar, sugar crops tend to be less expensive than starch crops because they don't need enzyme breakdown. They're already sugar. So making it on the, the, the small scale you know, would work pretty well uh, if you have a source of a waste material. If you don't have that, then you look for materials that can be delivered. For instance, molasses is a waste product of the sugar industry. You can make alcohol on the small scale for about 80 cents a gallon using molasses. No enzymes needed, whatever. It's really quite simple. You're making rum, that's what you're doing. You know? um, now, it's pretty good to be making it for 40 cents a gallon, that, that feels, especially when they run it up to 235 or something. But, but that's going to end soon, that, this low price of gasoline.